Hello, my name is Mary Evelyn Tucker. And I'm John Grimm. And together we direct the Forum on Religion and Ecology at Yale that was started 20 years ago at the United Nations. We're very pleased to join with you at this autumnal season, this generative moment in the botanical world when seeds are being formed for new life. And we wanted to give an overview, a brief uh, overview of the new work that's taking place in the Forum on Religion and Ecology. We want to highlight a new partnership with the United Nations Environment Program and their Faith for Earth. We want to also note the new website that was created with enormous work, especially with Tara Trapani's help. And thirdly, we want to highlight a new group of advisors that's coming on board to help us with this work. And finally, a new blog called the Forum Spotlight, which will be Monday interviews, Tuesday and Thursday blogs. We'll also give a brief uh, description of the new massive open online courses that we're preparing in religion and ecology for mounting early in this, uh, 2021. So let's begin with, in the spring, we started a new partnership with the United Nations Environment Program. Iyad Abu Mogli directs this Faith for Earth initiative, which coordinates with our work of international and interdisciplinary concerns, namely the United Nations with its environmental programs, policy, and information is a great partner with the forum's work on the world's religions. Uh, the Faith for Earth is about to issue a new book that we were involved in 20 years ago with UNIP. Um, and this will be helpful, no doubt, for your teaching, for your activism, and it will come out in the coming months. It was in partnership with, with UNEP, with Parliament of World Religions, and with the Forum. The website of the Forum on Religion and Ecology is the result of a year-long effort by our team, led by Tara Trapani, to renovate <laughs> and repurpose the thousand pages that was on the old website. So now we have a bright and inviting resource for your work, both in teaching um, and in activism. So 10 world religions, something on their statements, something on bibliographies, something of videos, and the Engage projects, what's happening on the ground. We also have part of the website devoted to climate emergency and to Laudato Si, which highlighted the strong movement emerging in eco-justice, people, and planet. So this new website um, will also grow into the advisory group uh, help that we've just launching today. About 70 scholars and activists, senior and junior scholars, uh, and moving forward on this effort to re-energize the international dimension of the forum's work, the interdisciplinary, the interreligious, and the intergenerational. So we're inviting senior scholars to mentor junior scholars in this work in a mutually enhancing way. We're very excited about this. And finally, specifically today, we're launching the Forum Spotlight that is the work of Sam Mickey and Tara Trapani. And they've been preparing blogs and interviews, Monday interviews, Tuesday and Thursday blogs. And this will highlight uh, aspects of teaching and research, but also new webinars and events, publications, and we'd be very happy for you to uh, put your work forward through this medium. As well, you can send it to Elizabeth McAnally, who's our web uh, project director, and she can post these. So we're going to spotlight partner organizations, advisory groups, and your work as a whole. This hopefully will give aspects of new hope, of inspiration, and information for the work that we're all sharing together. It's exciting to hear of these projects and to talk a bit uh, about a new specialization that we're mounting in these massive open online courses. So 
this uh, five courses will be a specialization in religion and ecology, similar to the specialization that we have now on the Yale Coursera platform in the Journey of the Universe courses. Those three courses constitute a whole, just as these five courses will be focused on uh, religions of the world and ecology. And these will be free uh, through the audit button, free for students to choose their own pace at which they want to learn and also when they want to enter these courses. So the uh, project itself is focused on five courses. Each of them are six weeks long. And the building of these courses has been, of course, a wonderful opportunity to work together and to bring the courses we've taught at Yale into a new format. And we've been assisted by uh, Anna Thurston, a former graduate student in the joint degree program, and Sam King, a current student in the Master's in Religion and Ecology at the Yale Divinity School. Been very helpful and working with them has been a delight. And these uh, five courses then are an introduction to religion and ecology, then Western religions focused on Judaism, Christianity, and Islam, uh, South Asian religions and ecology, uh, Jainism, some forms of Hinduism and early Buddhism, and then East Asian, uh, of course, on the movement of Buddhism across Asia, and then Confucianism and Taoism, and finally, indigenous traditions or indigenous religions and ecology, a sense of bringing together voices of indigenous elders and leaders from around the globe to talk about indigeneity and the recovery of indigenous voice, especially in environmental activism. So this is a wonderful opportunity to bring forward the forum work and the advisory group, and we very much look forward to uh, you're viewing this new specialization in religion and ecology to be mounted in early 2021. And our final piece of good news uh, is that on October 4th, Pope Francis will be issuing a new encyclical. He will go up to Assisi, say a mass at the tomb of St. Francis, and issue this encyclical called Fratelli, Fratelli Tutti. And that is the notion of fraternity, of sisterhood and brotherhood with all humans and all of nature that St. Francis held mm -hmm. as so central to his vision. And that will also continue the message of Laudato Si, the Praise Be encyclical issued five years ago. And there, the highlight was this integration, integral ecology of people and the planet. The cry of the earth, the cry of the poor is the refrain of that encyclical that will go forward with this tremendous sense of eco-justice, of those who are suffering from the problems of climate change, pollution, and so on. So a new hope, I think, will be generated with this encyclical uh, that will have impact around the world. We invite you into this work, especially the blogs and the interviews, and we thank our team for all they've done to make this launch possible of the Forum Spotlight today. It's wonderful to share this work with you.